Hi, I'm John Kinyonyamus, and what would you do if a show called What Would You Do was running out of ideas? I, I would uh, uh, tell them to not do uh, so many ideas. Um, like, I don't know, maybe like, do more gangster stuff? Have you seen the turtles in New York? But I've seen a documentary and there are like four turtles that know Kung Fu under the sewers. I don't, they got a rat teaching them the techniques. Since when is this okay? They eat pizza. That's next on What Would You Do? What the hell? Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy, Big Bappy Leo. <laughs> so it's come to my attention that one of the shows that I absolutely love, What Would You Do, is kind of borderline running out of ideas. And I don't even blame them because the show has been on for so long. How many ideas could you have? Now, if you don't know what the show's about, What Would You Do is sort of like... Um, it's sort of like a social experiment before YouTube was invented. And they basically have actors doing a situation where the unsuspecting public is asked to either help or give their opinion on a certain matter or topic. And when the show first started, it actually tackled really, really taboo subjects like uh, religion and race. It really tackled these amazing topics and asked people to have a conversation that they wouldn't otherwise have. But since then, John Quinones and his crew of feisty thick boys have seemingly run out of ideas and are starting to do random ass things on the show that really don't have anything to do with anything. I just want to say one thing before I start the video. I'm not sure if you guys have been on my Instagram. Shameless plug 16 Leo underscore. But um, the day I'm filming this is one day after I had like a sort of like breakdown. <laughs> and I'm so glad that you guys don't mind that I talk openly about my mental health because I struggle with it severely at times. And yesterday was one of those days where I didn't know if I was gonna even get up the next day. So I'm doing this video today with that in the back of my head. I just wanna apologize for that. Thank you so much for all the positive messages. Also, subscribe. If we get to 350k, I will buy 10 Funko Pop figures and line them up upside down like backwards Elvis. I promise I will do that. Why is that incentive for you to subscribe? Have you ever seen 10 Funko Pop figures upside down before? Maybe you will. But before we start, let me take a quick second to thank my sponsor of today's video, Blinkist. Okay, so I really do like reading, but the thing is I don't always have the time. And recently I've discovered Blinkist. So instead of finding the time to read a whole book, I can just listen to the highlights in like 15 minutes. Blinkist is the only app that condenses non-fiction books and gives you the insight and information so you can take away those life lessons right away. And it has a wealth of different topics, including self-improvement, relationships, marriage, and parenting. There's so much to learn from. Blinkist has allowed me to read the key insights into some famous books such as The Lean Startup and Good to Great. And with their new feature, Shortcasts, I can listen to condensed versions of podcasts, which I love. Look, as much as I love a long four or five hour podcast, I don't always have the time. So with Shortcast, I can keep up with each episode of the podcast while I do little things like clean around the house or wash the dishes. Right now, the first 100 people who click the link in my description will get unlimited access for one week to try it out. You also get 25% off if you want the full membership and the seven day trial is completely free. So you can cancel at any time during that period. So head over to Blinkist now and use my link to try it out today. Thank you Blinkist. Okay, so the first video is one of my all time favorites. It's called Underage Kids Ask for a Lighter and it is just mwah. How much are matches? What do you need them for? To smoke a bogey. Get out of here, you kids are too young to smoke. Excuse me sir, do you have a light? Oh shit, they caught John red handed trying to go into the store. He was like, yo, let me get that sick. Oh. Hey, yo, what up, little kids? What would you do if you saw a man pretending not to be here? The show usually starts with some generally put together information about a issue or topic that John will then talk about. And then he basically puts actors in a situation and starts rolling the cameras. If you're a real human in society and you heard, hey, I'm a child, not an actor. I'm here to smoke a cigarette. Do you have a light for me? Holy shit, Tony, this shit is big. Our young smokers spark up a conversation. Excuse me, do you have a light for my cigarette? You're joking. No. No, you can't smoke. How old are you? I'm 12. I like how he said that so confidently. I'm 12. I'm 12. What are you talking about? I'm 12 years old. I'm trying to smoke. You guys are freaking six years old. You're 12? How old are you? 14. 
fourteen year old looking sun ass over head ass dead ass sun over there. Yeah, you could blow in a breeze. <laughs> so I love the premise because if you look at the shot of the kids, both of them managed to somehow get a full box, not even a loose cigarette. They got a full box each of cigarettes and they both have pockets to accommodate the box. I'm 12, but I cannot get my hands on a lighter. And this is the whole premise of this video. Get away, get away, get away. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Why would they even need Her teenage son steps in. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's gonna air on TV, G. You just gonna say that to like a 12 year old kid? <laughs> The editors in the show were like, that's money. That's good footage. Leave that in. Timmy's gonna get grounded when he gets home, bro. Hi, ma'am. Ma'am, hi. Oh my God, I gotta call you back. What if your son did this? He would never. Oh he knows God. it's bad for him. <laughs> Look at his face. He knows it's bad for him. My son would never do this. Yeah. He looked like he committed a crime when she said that. My kid would never smoke cigarettes. Ooh, lucky she didn't say anything about weed, right, John? <laughs> Yo, you got diapers? I need, I need a pair right now. Then they try doing it with an old man and it goes really wrong. <laughs> you should look around at some of the older people who are unable to breathe and they started out the way you started out. I'm very glad I didn't smoke. I'm 104 years old. I'm very glad I didn't smoke. I'm 104. Underneath, they just fully undercut this dude. He's actually, this man is 54 years old. He's just, he's he's drunk. He doesn't smoke, but it, clearly he drinks. He is out of his fucking mind. Way to go, old man. I don't smoke and I live to 365 years old. I also have a donkey dick. <laughs> yep, I fuck models every day. Wes Saeed. All right, okay. All right, Anthony. Well, we don't do it very often. What? That's what people say as they're coughing up blood. This is fear mongering to the next level. They were like, don't you smoke? He's like, many old people don't even love. They cough up lungs. Do you know what smoking does to old people? All of my friends are dead. What are you doing with those? So you can get seriously sick. You will die at an early age. Is that what you want? What is with these old people? I, I know they're young and maybe you don't want them to like smoke but you don't have to scare them to the point you tell them they're gonna die hey can i have a light no you're going to die a horrible death actually to be honest with you you might die today did you come here in a car did you know that 100 percent of all car crashes involve people you better get a helmet and get the f out of this country bro i'm michelle i came here to get milk but i'm giving you life advice that i'm not qualified to give whatever how do you know because I've seen my brother die of lung cancer where their throat got so sore they couldn't even talk. My brother died. I've seen him. I've watched him die. He was like, <coughs> can I have a light? I lit his cigarette and I watched him turn into ashes. He cremated. My brother's dead. This stemmed from a kid being like, can I have a light? Can you have a light? Yeah, you might see the light, bro. You're gonna die. I'm Mulk. I came here to get Michelle. You told him your own brother? Uh, yes, well, my, uh, actually, I made that up. Oh my God, these people. <laughs> so she lied about her brother on national television? He's not dead? He's not, you know he's gonna be watching this. You're gonna be like, ah, turn on the TV and be like, I was on What Would You Do with John Kim Yong Numbness. Then he watches his sister be like, yeah, he died. I watched him die. Why would you say this stuff about your family? Dude, these are two kids who you don't even know. You just metaphorically killed your brother to scare kids into not smoking. What is wrong with you? Could you not make up a story? You have to use a real person? Yo, we need a what would you do episode on old people. What would you do if you saw an old person literally scare the shit out of a kid? There. Excuse me, can you help us? Um, yeah, can I see that for a second? What was that for? You shouldn't be smoking. Then he got sued for destruction of property. These 12 year old kids know what they're doing, man. Oh my God. <sighs> Poor old Aiden. He's in court. He's serving a life sentence. Hmm. So one of the things they frequently do on What Would You Do is change the gender of the actors um, to see if anything changes. And usually speaking, uh, people are a little more lenient towards girls, but I think in the case of smoking, 
as a kid, doesn't matter what gender you are, nobody's gonna give you the damn light. But these girls really do try. Can you give us some matches? No. We'll give you a cigarette. I'm not gonna do anything. No, that's not true. People die from all sorts of things. Well, hopefully we won't die. There it is. There, back, back to it. Oh, people die from everything. You wearing shoes? Someone probably got foot strangled. <laughs> I don't know how you explain to kids that maybe smoking isn't the best thing, but I mean, I'm glad everybody's doing the right thing, but nobody seems to be explaining it the right way to them. Nobody's breaking it down. People die from all sorts of things. One cigarette? Oh my God, you're gonna die. Hi, ma'am. I'm John Quinones. Hi. What would you do the TV show? Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, she didn't even recognize him. Hi. Wait, what, are you filming a movie there? What did you say your name was? John Kilmanness? Cool. He's he's smooth, but he probably got offended. He's like, hi, I'm John Kimnomus. From the show, what would you do? You don't know it? Yeah. Oh god. Bitch! <laughs> you don't know the show. What would you do if you wanted to bitch slap someone right now? No, no, John, no! Throw that thing in the garbage! We just want to try it. If you want to grow up to be beautiful young ladies, throw in the garbage. Ah, nice to see John Travolta make an appearance. <laughs> what would you do? <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's what he's doing these days, huh? From Pulp Fiction to Pump Friction, right there, okay. They're so bad, why does everybody do it? Why do people drink? Why do people break the law? So why do people smoke? Hey, let me ask you this. Why do people drink? Thank you. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Let me ask you this. Who is God? Huh? Who you pray to at the end of the day? Does he really even exist? It's like a 12-year-old kid like, I, I, I'm just part of a show. Please don't do this to me. Find a way to... No, I'll tell you a story. I'll tell you a story. I went to a strip club the other day. I saw a guy with no legs get a lap dance. How? Guy got kicked out of the club. They said, sir, you have to wear pants. I said, this guy don't even have legs. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So that was the smoking episode of What Would You Do? I think at this point, they were starting to run out of ideas. It didn't get to the point where they were like AWOL with the ideas. Now, the last video I wanted to show you is probably the most impressive stretch of the imagination that the What Would You Do writers have had. I don't know who came up with this idea, but whoever did needs to get a promotion to the dumpster in which they came from because this is such a trash idea. It's about two friends having an alien debate. And the thing is, what would you do if you saw two people debating alien life? I'll tell you what I would do. Nothing, because it's none of my fucking business. I don't care. Space travel has come so far. Yeah, but it's only a matter of time before we discover other life. You know, aliens. Aliens. Once a Damn, just the very mention of aliens gets this woman just aliens. 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 Why you say stupid aliens? aliens? What the hell is that, bro? I never even seen an aliens, aliens before. She just watches E.T. She's like, fuck you, Steven Spielberg. To be honest, what is E.T.? He looks so aggressively ugly. Kids in the 80s were so high off cocaine residue that they found that attractive. If that's not a best friend, that's an evil monster. I would not let that in my house. That looks more scarier than Alien from Alien. Anyway, sorry, car carry on. Could this be what's led millions to sign up on Facebook for a special event? Something called Storm Area 51, they can't stop all of us. The power of memes. How about we go ask around? Does this group think there's other life out there? Of course there is. Thank you. She believes there's life on other planets. Who, who put a camera by John? Who did that? Thanks, John. I uh, thank you. Why did I need uh, secondhand information? John pointing at me, pointing at the camera. Hey, hey, she thinks there's, there's other life out there. You fucking wrote the script, bro. They just gave John a camera. Nobody's even manning the camera. It's not even on. Oh my. <laughs> Yo, did you see that other one? She's like, there's no alien life. <laughs> what is this show? You think there's intelligent life out there? Probably. Actually shockingly high that there is life in other places. And the probability of us not knowing about it, given what we know now, is a little bit low. I'm not saying that it's a bad topic of conversation. I'm just saying, is this something that what would you do needs to air? It's like asking someone, if you saw a random person scratch their ass in the middle of a mall, what would you do? Probably nothing, but it does happen, so... All right, everyone ready for the lecture? <laughs> um, I, oh my... I'm John Quinones from What Would You Do? 
<laughs> I'm John Kim Nyom Nos from What Would You Do? No, I'm not Alien Life. Stop asking me that. <laughs> it's not funny. We're rolling again. And this woman appears intrigued. You had to do the circle. There's three people there and two of them are actors. You had to draw my attention to this woman over here. See her? Do you see her? He's extra spoon feeding me this episode. If they were aliens, you don't think they would have contacted us by now? They probably have. What do you think? Yes, I've had experiences, so I'm already a believer. She's had experiences. <laughs> She's had experiences. Did you hear that? Yes, John. Yeah, literally, you just showed it. Thank you, John. It's like John's watching the show for the first time next to us and has his own little commentary channel right there. He's just sitting there with a walkie-talkie that leads to nowhere. Maybe Area 51 itself. Come in camera too. Did you see what she said? <laughs> she said she had some experiences. All right, John Kim Yom is out. Thanks, John. If you didn't tell me exactly what happened seconds after it happened, how would I know? What kind of experiences have you had? All I know is I woke up and I, I couldn't breathe. Okay, well, one, that's a cold. And I saw lights under my door. And I, Secondly, that's a light. I opened the door and it was gone. There's nothing there. The next day, I had a curly bed. Like someone punched me and I hadn't done anything. You're just describing the events at a bar. I don't know if you know that you're wearing a Guinness shirt, but you could have literally went to the pub, called someone a Puerto Rican who was Chinese, and then they punched you. Then you woke up with no recollection because Guinness really does take the toll off, but you still had pain from the other night because goddamn that Chinese Puerto Rican packs a punch. I think that we've mutated into what that is, and now they're traveling back trying to probe us to figure out what's going on and what happened. What exactly does she mean by this? What the f does she mean by this? I went to investigate. Hello, ma'am. What? You were very uh, eloquent in explaining to her why you believe, right? Yeah, because it's that simple for me. Maybe they can help us, fix us. To those people who say you're crazy. To those people who say you are batshit insane. You're absolutely crazy. Out of your goddamn mind, off your rocker. To those people who say, put her in a home. Put her in an asylum. Put the asylum in a home. Put the asylum on a cliff and push it off. What do you say to that? Well, I, I don't care. I'm John Kim Yomus and this is What Would You Do? Then they roll one last time, which is John Kim Yomus's famous line when bullshit is about to go down. Every time he says that, some crazy stuff happens. We're rolling one last time. This family is from a place nearby made famous after an alleged UFO crash. I live in Roswell, so... She's from Roswell. John, I will strangle you, bro. I've... <laughs> Out of love. Oh my god. You are such a caring, sweet man, but if you do this one more time, I will I will body slam you, John. I will. I will power lift you and put you down into the canvas. Stop. Do you think there's other life out there? I don't think so. So you believe and she doesn't believe. And we've been together for 18 years. <laughs> How does the, the family divide up then? How does marriage work for you guys if she doesn't believe in aliens and you do? Isn't that crazy? Because when I think of like make or break people, when I think of my perfect person, I'm like, if they don't believe in aliens, they can zoom away. Do I see aliens running around? No. I think they're probably so far away that we'll never get to them and they'll never get to us. And no one has a definitive answer. I love when people ask questions and answer it themselves because they give them those like easy questions. Do I see aliens running around out there every day? No. Does my child have two antennas and when I turn on the radio, his signals get crossed? Nope. Does my wife have a probe up her ass right now? Possibly. But that's not because of aliens, that's because she's freaky. I'm, that's all I'm saying, there could be life. Wanna do some stargazing? Finally, something we can agree on. <laughs> oh. And that is how the video ends. An amazing array of ideas that have been stretched to the very core of what ideas need to be. So I hope you guys like What Would You Do? It's honestly one of my favorite shows. I think they really do have some genuinely good episodes that are pretty profound. And they tackle on these great subjects. The host is awesome, <laughs> but these couple of episodes were just too far. If you did like the video, then uh, do be sure to like and subscribe. And tell me if you want to see more, what would you do? I do have a set of three other videos. I actually had about six that I wanted to choose between because they have some really dank ideas every now and again. If you want to see one more, let me know. I'll be right here. Thank you so much for watching the video. I truly appreciate it. I'll be back very soon with the next one. And until then, from me, Rufus and Fluffs, see you later. What would you do if you saw another chick riding a dog? I could drink 
in non-stop. I could not have hangovers. Taking back control, going on a pole. You don't gotta help me, just be making that money.